Hello everybody, myself Manas and Sahu coming before you with a uh, video file that is uh, on data file handling, especially on binary data file. So before starting that, uh, let us talk about uh, what a data file is. It is a separate file than that of uh, Python code file. Basically, the Python code file stores in terms of .py, but here the data files are separate from that and it contains data pertaining to a specific application for later use. Uh, this may be a following type. It may be a text file, it may be a binary file, or it may be a CSV files. The text file we have already discussed and here we are going to discuss only binary files. So let us see that uh, what a binary file is. A binary file contains the arbitrary binary data. A binary files are used to store binary data such as image, video, audio and text. There is no delimiter and the absence of this delimiter makes files to process fast while reading or writing operations are performed on file and hence it is preferred from text files. So uh, coming back to file access modes actually we have already gone through it uh, during our text file um, operations and uh, the here I have consolidated only that uh, binary modes uh, see this uh, WB stands for opening a file for write-only mode in binary format. RB open a file for the read-only mode in the binary format. AB open the file in appending only mode in the binary format. And RB plus open the file for read and write only mode in the binary format. And that AB plus is open a file for appending and read-only mode in the binary format. Mind it, there is a uh, small difference between that uh, text uh, file mode and binary file mode is that that uh, alphabet B has been added with all these modes of the text file. Okay, uh, then uh, going, uh, going to the next uh, that file modes and the opening position of the file pointer. Whenever we are opening a data file, the data files may be opened in terms of this read mode or write mode or append mode. But the uh, opening position of the file pointer, where it lies, it will just, uh, we are going to discuss this right now. Whenever the data file are opened in read mode, the opening position of the file pointer is at the beginning of the data file. Whenever we are opening uh, the file in the file mode write, then the opening position of the file pointer is at the beginning of the file. And beginning of the file, it overwrites the file if file is already exist. Okay. Whenever we are talking about this append mode, then uh, the opening position of the file pointer lies at the end of the file uh, if file exists, otherwise creates a new file. So this is the basic steps uh, whenever we are writing a program using a data file handling. So the basic steps are opening a data file and whenever we are opening a data file, few things we need to remember that uh, the file name has to specify and the mode, that mode for read, write or append. After the data file has been opened, Next stage is uh, performing read and write operations. The Once the data file is open, that read and write operations has to be done uh, by using uh, different functions available. And after all the uh, read and write operations, all the operations on data file ends, then the closing of the file has to be done, which releases the file for other applications to use it. So whenever we are talking about this data file and their path, then we must have a complete knowledge on the absolute and relative path. So let us see what is an absolute path. Absolute path of a file is a file location where it starts from the topmost directory in the file system. So suppose uh, this is a screenshot of my system where that uh, suppose a file taken as a zit hyphen bash it comes under that zit folder and which uh, comes under program files folder and which comes under uh, c drive. 
so that the C drive program files GIT and then GIT hyphen bash is the absolute path to locate that uh, uh, concern file uh, from the topmost directory that is C. So that is the absolute path. So let us see about the relative path. Relative path of the file is the file location where it starts from the current working directory. Basically, it doesn't require uh, the detail specification of the path. Rather, we need to give that uh, file name where uh, it symbolizes and uh, uh, in, uh, intended for the current working directory. So. When we're talking about uh, this uh, binary file operations, uh, you may have a question in your mind that uh, why we are going for the binary file operations when we do have the text file operations. So see, uh, whenever we want to write a structure such as a list or a dictionary to a data file, uh, uh, then uh, or, or else uh, to read it subsequently, we need to use the Python module called pickle and the data binary file operations uh, can be uh, handled in python through this uh, pickle module so this uh, pickle module have uh, two kind of thing that is a pickling and unpickling that pickling is the process of converting structure to a byte stream because that byte stream has to be written within the data file. So uh, pickling is the process where it converts the structure that uh, list or the dictionary to the byte stream before writing the file. And uh, while reading the content of a data file, a binary data file, this reverse process, this reverse process, that means again, um, translating that uh, contained uh, to the uh, byte stream, back to the original structure that is called unpickling so that pickling and unpickling uh, using this pickle module so first we need to import the module it provides two main methods for the purpose that is one is dump method and second one is load method so these two methods are uh, as far as our syllabus is concerned we are going to take care of this Okay, so let us see that the pickle the dump method use uh, pickle the dump method uh, to write the object in file, which is opened in binary access mode. So mind it, uh, that means whenever we are writing the object inside a binary file, then this pickle dot dump function is going to be used, and the syntax is very simple. That is the dump within bracket uh, object comma file object so let us see one uh, example of this uh, pickle the dump method so i have shown uh, one example here where uh, that uh, i have imported the pickle module first and then created a list uh, taking certain numbers uh, uh, arbitrary numbers then uh, i would like to open a data file called list.dat in the f drive of my system and uh, that file has to be open in the right mode in binary so uh, f equal to open that's why we have written here and uh, for your information uh, in all my programs you might have seen that uh, i'm uh, i'm very much convenient using this uh, uh, drive as f or d or something other than c why because uh, in system that uh, if it is uh, the main drive or os drive is c drive and you are uh, putting all these data files inside that then uh, due to some problems that uh, operating system might be corrupted and it has been uh, required to be formatted then your all your data lost and uh, uh, to secure the data whatever you are using it is uh, recommended to uh, save it uh, somewhere in other drive rather than C <coughs> after that that uh, pickled dump a function which passes that uh, list along with the file uh, uh, file pointer through which that uh, the list is going to be stored and after it is stored that a print command uh, will just uh, show some information on the um, shell that is information added to binary uh, file and as usual that uh, if the data file is in open through open function it has to be closed by f.close 
so after running this uh, program uh, the shell will look like this that is information added to binary file and we can verify also uh, within the f drive of the uh, system that uh, it will show one uh, file showing that list or that so uh, it is uh, better to have a run of uh, this file in uh, directly python that uh, uh, python cell uh, as it is a program we cannot write it in cell we need to go for the script so i'm just uh, opening the data file of uh, that uh, script type of that program where i have already written the program to uh, program uh, for uh, saving the time so that same program i have written here and i'm just uh, running the program here so the running will show me that the information added to the binary file and suppose i'll just check it in my system that the f drive so i'm just checking the f drive see that list or that a file has been created in my f drive of my system so uh, this is uh, about uh, the pickle the dump method uh, how it is being used to write the list sequence in a binary file uh, suppose you would like to open this uh, dat file uh, through the python editor then you will see the content of the python generates a decoding error because uh, that is a binary file which is not going to be used or not going to be uh, success in opening through any text uh, mode or text uh, application software so uh, next one is the pickle.load method where the pickle.load method is used to read the contain of the binary file. So always mind it uh, before uh, reading the contain of the uh, binary file, the binary file must be exist. Here we have uh, shown one uh, program where in the last program we have just uh, saved uh, a data file named uh, that f in f drive list or that and i'm just opening that same data file because that data file is having the data and uh, let us see that it is being uh, read from the data, data file or not so importing pickle first uh, then there's the basic statement we need to write f equal to open f list or that and r b r for read and b for binary because it's a binary file and we are going to read the content from that data file list or that okay then after which we need to write that pickle dot load pickle dot load is a function which loads the content of the data file uh, uh, and uh, to the required uh, object here list one equal to pickle dot load f that means the data file linked from that list or that uh, will come to uh, assign those uh, data in the specified list here and uh, we have just printed one statement that is uh, the container of the binary file is and print list one so uh, after printing that list we have closed the data file as usual so after running this program we will see that uh, the cell will show us the data what we have inserted in that uh, data file that is list or that in our last program so if you want to verify it let us see uh, the same thing in the python uh, cell again i'm just uh, going to the script mode i'm opening the python file and the python file having load so it is the same program what i have shown it uh, in that uh, uh, presentation let us uh, run this program and uh, after running the c that same data which are uh, we have input uh, during the first example are being shown on the screen is it clear that means it's a success of uh, reading and writing the content from the uh, binary data file so hope you students uh, you have understood the thing and thank you for watching and uh, follow our blog to get more videos on such thing like uh, csip 